morning everyone, how are we all doing today? I'm feeling a bit disorganised as per usual, but here we are. <laughs> um, so good morning, my name's Emma, or the Little Wolf Goat, and this is Doodle and Chill, where we get together and we just hang out, we make some art, have a blather, um, yeah, so hi Utla Risk and hi Coralia, welcome back Coralia, how you doing? Um, I'm watching other stream right now, but I'm multitasking. Cool, that's fine, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, so I wasn't feeling particularly good when I last streamed on uh, Duda on... When was the last time I was streaming? Oh my goodness, Tuesday. Um, I was actually feeling a bit depressed. So, um, had a bad day, but I'm feeling a bit more cheerful today. So, let's let's see how we got on. Um, Utah Risk. I haven't been in your streams before, you're so pretty. Oh, thanks very much, that's really sweet. Mm. So, uh, do da do da do da. Let's go to my full screen. Here we go. So, the other day I was working on this Highlands cow picture. Um, now, I'm really liking the colours. But I am not happy with the actual kind of the sketch kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redraw the cow, not from scratch. Um, I'm going to redraw it till I'm happier with it and then repaint it. But I'm going to keep the same colours because I really like the colours. So, hey Jim, how you doing? Not seen you for a while. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Um, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling a hundred percent, so I might be a bit quiet today, just so you know. But I'll try and answer questions and stuff as we go and keep up the chat and things. Uh, yeah. So for those of you that are new here, I um, this is an ask me anything stream. Don't have to answer, but you can ask questions. I'm okay for doing chat chat. Uh, I invite you all just to kind of create along this is more i'm not really here to entertain i'm just here to hang out and make some art and it'd be really cool if you guys hung out and made some art as well that's kind of the plan let's have a look in the chat what software are you using i use photoshop um which i do think i'm going to change though because paying 10 pounds a month for it is it's a bit steep at the moment considering the fact I don't work. So yeah. Anyways, so the plan is re redraw the sketch and repaint it using the colours that I've already got. So that's what we're doing today. Right. And one day I'll get my camera set up properly. So what we will do is we will hide the colour just now. We'll do a new layer. Sketch version 2. Like art study, so I might not be as chatty as I usually am. That's totally cool. Totally cool. I'm not feeling overly chatty today. I was really depressed on Tuesday, actually. Um, only did art for about half an hour on my stream then I switched over to Stardew Valley just because I couldn't focus on what I was doing at all and I think that was probably for the best actually Maybe not do the sketch in the same colours as a cow, that would help. So then I could see it properly later. So 
so that eye is going to be hidden. But you might see this bit of the eye. Sorry, I keep kind of snorting. Um, normally, the audio wouldn't be picked up when I do my sniffles, but because I've switched over to using a headset and mic, now you're going to hear them all. Right. Got to clean my glasses, I'll be right back. Okie dokie. Cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, like Tuesday. I don't really fully know what happened. I just, I think I just woke up on the wrong side of bed. I just felt really sad and really low energy, um, which is okay. That happens from time to time, you know, and you don't have to be like total bubbly personality all the time. Not that I'd ever really describe myself as a bubbly personality, but you know what I mean? Um, you know what I mean? You can what I mean, like... Do, 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 do. Sorry, I'm pulling up uh, uh, Google Images to try and look at as many healing coups as possible for inspiration. That's what we need out of life. We need inspiration. Ho he ho he ho. I'm so sorry about my dodgy French accent. I apologise. Got allergies today. Yeah, I felt the same way but yesterday. Yeah, totally. I think most people like feel blue. Um, I think it's better if like more people talked about when they felt depressed. I think people would feel less awkward about talking about it in general so that is why I am talking about it today so let's talk mental health I do have mental health issues I have emotional intensity disorder uh, it's more commonly known as borderline personality disorder but I don't like that I think that's not an accurate description of what it is. Um, basically, the the way I like to describe it is, have you watched, what's it called? This is Spinal Tap. When they've got the, when they're doing the thing with the amplifier and it goes up to 10 and these ones go up to 11, you know, because that's louder than 10. Basically, my emotions go up to 11. So when I feel good, I feel really good, and when I feel bad, I feel absolutely terrible. So, um, and I think people can understand it better that way, because when you say you've got um, borderline personality disorder, people, like, they think about the horror stories, or they think about, um, is it Sharon Stone and Basic Instinct? I am certainly not Sharon Stone and Basic Instinct. Um, but that's what people assume when you when you say you've got this. And it's not really me at all. Yeah, I'm glad I'm redoing this sketch. It means I can see where the what direction the hair's going in a bit better than it was before. I'm glad I did this. Usually when I'm unhappy with a drawing, I keep going with it because I just think it's just me being a negative Nancy and that it'll all turn out all right in the end. But um, I really was unhappy with how that drawing was turning out. So that's, that worked out really well. So let's see, we're gonna, gonna erase this line that I just drew. Well, I think. Um, so yeah, so that was Tuesday, I was feeling really blue. Yesterday, 
Yesterday I was starting to feel a wee bit better, which was nice. Um, still quite blue, but I had my online therapy group yesterday, which helped. Um, can't go into details about what actually happens in my online therapy group um, because you know confidentiality and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it was good. I'm glad I I'm glad I went to it. So that helped. Um, yeah, so I'm feeling a bit better today, and I was thinking about like completely giving up on drawing a cow entirely and like switching to something else. But I went, you know what? No, if you're really unhappy with the cow, don't give up on it entirely. Just try and redraw it again and see if that helps. And if you really don't like it after redrawing it again, then then you can try something else. So, and the reason I don't, I, the reason I try not to automatically give up on drawings that I start on is because I have, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so, and I'm trying to be a bit less uptight about my work, so by continuing on with drawings that I'm not happy with, it kind of helps me loosen up a bit more, and it has helped, like the last few drawings I've done, like the Jaguar and the Barnacle. Like, I was really unhappy with them, but I stuck it out and they turned out alright, so it was good. So it worked out alright in the end, and that was fine. So I want this eye to be covered. Try not to get too stressed, Emma. This is just a sketch. Doesn't have to be perfect. Would you believe me? I told you I was having really bad anxiety right now just looking at this drawing because I'm like, oh god, it's not the way I want it to be. It's crazy, right? Art's meant to be fun. kind of do that too but sometimes drawing turns out better than sketches oh totally Utah I tried drawing a humanoid head enderman oh and it turned out better than expected nice I've never drawn a realistic thing at all I may have tried but didn't turn out right so I gave up I still haven't drawn a realistic thing yeah like I like I get really caught up in my drawings, like I used to anyway, I'm a bit more chill now, but I really wanted my drawings to be like photorealistic. And I watched, oh, I wish I could remember his name. I watched this uh, guy who did like a kind of art tutorial thing on YouTube, and he's kind of like, no, because your art is never going to be as good as a photograph. What you want to do is create something that adds, something that a photograph can't add. And that's like your flavour and your creativity. And I was like, boom, mind blown. At that time, that was amazing. I wish I could remember the guy's name. I subscribe to him on YouTube. If I find out, I'll, I'll post his stuff. But yeah, that was amazing. Like, um, those of you who've been here before uh, probably know that I actually went to art school. I have a degree in fine art, but I didn't learn a single thing at art school. I've actually learned more in the past three months I've been on Twitch than I have at art school, which is crazy biscuits. Um, so, that's been interesting like to kind of come to that realization so yeah still not a hundred percent sure if I like this version of the sketch but I think I like it more than the 
the old sketch, so we're getting somewhere. I mean, I'm just like redrawing over the original sketch, so it's like a improved sketch. It's not. this space here we just need to fill in that bit I draw cartoony oh hang on do, do, do. I can't draw the toys draw people haha <laughs> painted the realistic cake Emma saw it before yeah the cake was amazing the cake was definitely not a lie see I can't draw humans humans are like humanoids can't do it which is really annoying because I would love to be able to draw my D&D &D characters so I'm gonna have to work on that uh, I've been trying to, but it's not going well. Have you ever had glasses on for so long that you forget it's on? <laughs> I, at least once a week, I will wander about my house looking for my glasses. And I can't find them anywhere. And it turns out I was wearing them the whole time. Yes, yes. I wear my glasses pretty much all the time. Uh, I originally, when I was back at school, which was a long time ago, because I'm nearly 40 kids nearly 40, like, okay, boomer. Um, so, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I've worn glasses for a long time. And, uh, like, when I originally got them, I was only supposed to wear them for reading off the blackboard. But, blackboards, they didn't have blackboards in school anymore. Anyways, um, So, like, I just wore them more and more, and now I pretty much wear them all the time, unless I'm reading close up. Which I think is probably making my eyesight worse, which is not a good thing. Which reminds me, I really need to go get my eyes tested, but I'm kind of reluctant to go do that just now, you know, because of the the virus that shall not be named. So we shall we shall not mention the Voldemort of viruses. Ears are pretty scraggly on a Highland cow. Everything's pretty scraggly on a Highland cow. I love Highland cows though. Um, there's a park in Glasgow, which is the city nearest to me. It's called Paul Country Park, and they have herds of Highland cows, and they are just absolutely adorable. And I miss going to see them, and I can't do it just now because we're still technically in a lockdown. Not allowed to go to the city which you know is the right thing to do you know i don't want to spread a virus and stuff but that doesn't mean cool i'm really happy with that now i was thinking i might actually want to change the horns to wear my glasses all the time. I got my glasses on Monday and I'm still getting used to them. I'm still feeling new to have my glasses. Ah, uh, welcome to the club. All the cool kids wear glasses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, symmetry on and I'm going to redo the horns. I 
I think I want them pointing upwards a bit more. Off. Right, so obviously the horns need to be a bit more rounded at the tips, that's fine, we can do that. Let's... I'll raise them a little bit and then pop on some tips that are a bit more rounded. There we go. something I might regret but here we are uh, I'll edit copy please can I not regret this Usually, uh, draw at a a four, a three size. So I'm gonna try and draw a two size this time. So wish me luck, kids. idea. Also yes, glasses squad. Honestly I look ugly with glasses but there are times I look good with glasses and that's only sometimes. I'll get used to wearing glasses and seeing myself off eventually. Yeah it takes like a huge thing. Like when I started wearing glasses like I hated them. Um, like I get bullied a lot at school. Um, so like having glasses was like the worst. have changed a lot now when you go get glasses you know it's, they are seen more as like fashion items now rather than just Some people who wear glasses who don't need glasses and it's like that's crazy i can't believe people do that nowadays it's like back when i were a child nobody wanted to wear glasses mine actually fall down a lot so i need to go get them tight and jet honestly if you get a pair that fit properly you know it, it does make a huge difference
time you're making this more complicated than it needs to be. Let's just stick with this one. Okay, let's let's just do the face. Let's not worry about other things just now. Okay, it's not making life harder than it needs to be. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll delete these sketches because we don't need them just now. Delete the group and contents. So that's the base colour, so I don't have to expand that too much, which is good. So we're going to switch back to the brush I like to use. Here with us now. This is a good, good start. Excellent. Right. Okay. So, layer, new layer. So we we'll start building up the dark colors. Dark. to our colours. So that's our base, so this is dark one. And our light is coming in from the top left, so that's how we'll work it out. I'm just reading through the chat. Yeah, getting used to like drawing digitally um, is quite different from sketching and stuff. I've heard that Procreate on the iPad is really good. I'm an, an Android person, so I don't know, but I've heard that it's pretty good. No, I use an XP Pen tablet. I don't know if my camera will show you. Hold on. I don't know if my thing's long enough. That's my tablet. <laughs> Sorry, my camera's not that good. That's my tablet. And that's the monitor I use for keeping track of everything else. So, the kind of the details, specs, or whatever of my tablet screen thing are on my about page. Um, I did think about getting one of those tablets you like you draw on the pad and you look at the screen while you're doing it but my brain doesn't work that way I need to actually draw on the screen you know maybe if I'd started doing digital art at the beginning um, it might be different but here we are yeah definitely the right color okay edit and uh, so This bit's going to be darker. I'm going to erase it all. I'll put in the colour first and then I'll erase it afterwards. It's probably easier. It's going to be darker this way. And it's definitely going to be darker under here. It's going to be darker under the nose and stuff. It's going to be darker under here. So it's probably going to be like this under here. Um, it's going to be darker 
add to the French here. It's gonna be uh, maybe the tips of the ears will be lighter, but the rest of it's gonna be darker here. That bit's going to be lighter. It's going to be darker under here. I'm darker under here. It's probably going to be this dark under here. I've got lots of dark colours to play with, so I can really go for it. dark there because this bit will be lighter because colour is relative which is something I've only learned in the past few weeks amazing what they don't teach at art school this bit's going to be light so I mean this bit here is probably going to be dark then cool right so now we are on to the eraser Let's pick a better eraser. Um, where are my erasers? Special effects? No. Um, oh my god, so this organized mega pack. Erasers. Natural edge? Yeah. I hate when my glasses get smudged somehow, sometimes it does it, I don't know. Yeah, it takes ages to get used to having your, your glasses, like mines are absolutely filthy just now, <laughs> I just kind of get used to it. Um, I use both, it actually just takes years of adapting. <laughs> it's pretty difficult when you can just buy a display tablet, yeah totally, like, I was quite lucky I was able to get a display tablet. I'm going to try the pad and look at the screen to see how it works. So it could be harder, but it takes time, just get it. So I want to try, so just get into digital art. I have to remind myself the shadows aren't perfect. You have to remind yourself that everything isn't perfect, nothing's perfect. Oh my god, see, the trick is reminding yourself that things aren't perfect, and it's really hard. really hard but the good thing is like digital art is pretty forgiving as well so you can be a bit more relaxed because like it doesn't punish you quite so much as traditional art does which is really good
because you remember your layers. That's a trick. That's something I always forget. Remember your layers. Because layers make things so much easier. make things easier practice as well practice makes things so much easier like as much as I love art I am really bad at actually sitting down and doing it <laughs> like I will procrastinate till the literal cows come home oh, I think I feel a sneeze coming on folks worry about these bits because I'll raise those at the end. Have you? That one's green. Cool. So now we'll do our next layer. And that is dark too. The other thing that's really cool that I learned uh, recently is Color, because colour is relative, like you can really experiment and go nuts with colour. It's like, this cow isn't brown. Wait, like you look at it and go, it's a brown cow. But it's not a brown cow. Like, the shadows go into, like, blue and purple. But the highlights are kind of like yellows. So you kind of... Don't just pick one shade of brown and just do light and dark shades of brown, you know, you can uh, dip in and pick loads of different colours, you can mix them up, it's really cool. Which, mixing colours is something I wouldn't do when I uh, did traditional painting because I was always scared about wasted paint. But doing it this way I don't have to worry about that quite so much, which is really nice. Oh, it helps if I'm on the right effing layer. and we'll make this one a wee bit smaller yeah 59 that'll do nicely and we'll pick our colours so dark 2 so that's base dark 1 dark 2 dark 2 see it's getting kind of pinky red rather than just orangey brown that's because I'm gradually moving towards purple which kind of helps. I think it makes the colours look a bit more fun. Personally, I think it makes the colours look a bit more fun, you know. Obviously, it's like whatever your vibe is. Okay, so right, so. So if the sun is coming in this way, Who's joining the team? Greetings, comrade. Sippy Zinni, welcome. Oh, we've got a raid. Who's raiding us? Bimby. Hi, Bimby. Thanks for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Oh, Corali is actually part of the raid. <laughs> 
Hi everyone, welcome aboard. Um, my name's Emma, or the Little Wolf Goat, and I am a digital artist. Uh, very low energy, low vibe, we just hang out, I just doodle, we can I have a bit of idle chit chat, um, yeah. If you're just looking for somewhere just to hang out for an hour or so, this is the place to be. Welcome aboard folks. Today we are drawing a Highland cow. Now, I did a lot of work on it yesterday, but I ended up restarting a lot of it because I wasn't happy with how it was going. So, this is where we're at just now, folks. So, welcome. To the team. We have a bit of an in joke that this is an anarcho socialist utopia here called Little Wilfington, and the people who join the team are comrades. So, welcome aboard, comrades. Glory, greatest Little Wilfington. Greetings comrades, glory greatest. If any of you played that, um, what was it called? Oh my god, what was it called? Papers Please, that's what it was called. I was never able to play it because I found it too stressful, but I watched Jack Jacksepticeye play it and found it funny. Um, like funny in a, like it actually touched on like serious political points, but it was also funny. But yeah, I found it too stressful to actually play. I'm not into like resource management. Like, well, resource management games that are like that high intense and have time limits and stuff on them. It's like, oh no, not for me. Not for me, friends. So. I just had a horrible feeling there. I was drawn on the wrong layer, but I had a quick look and I'm on the right layer, hooray. Papers, please. Very good. I love it. So if you played it, I just, I couldn't. I just found it too stressful. It's kind of like, oh God, what if I make the wrong decision and like my family dies or end up killing an innocent citizen or something. It was just too much for me. Couldn't handle it. That's why I play Stardew Valley. Too intense, man. Too intense. not ready for that level of commitment. Just not ready for it man, just not ready for it. Later, that's totally fine. have that fear. Did you marry anyone in Stardew? Well, my original game, no. Because I I didn't I didn't want to get married and have children. I did like 
I don't want that in real life. That's stressful enough. Why would I want to do it in game? So no, I didn't marry anyone. Um, and I started a new game for my stream, um, which I play when I'm not really feeling up to doing art. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to marry anyone in that game. I haven't decided yet. I don't know. I mean, I think I like... I mean, I like Shane when he gets over his alcohol addiction and starts looking after the chickens. That's kind of cool. And I like... Oh, what's her name? The blue-haired chick that does the creative stuff. I like her. She's cool. I might marry her. I might marry her. Um, Clint. Is it Clint? Who is the the rock person, he's a bit too much of a wet blanket for my tastes. So, I don't think I'd marry him. Most of the youngsters, I'm kind of like, oh no, cringe. Um, like Haley, Jesus Christ, I would not marry Haley. Abigail seems alright. But that family seems like a bit of a mess, you know, considering the whole wizard relationship thing. I don't know if I want to marry into that. I mean, if there was a way to marry and not have kids, is that possible? If you could marry in Stardew Valley and not have kids, I might marry. I'd rather have more pets, to be honest. I've got a cat, I'd rather have a dog. And my chickens and stuff. Oh, the colours. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, CB01, mate. I don't know how you pronounce that name, but thank you very much. Oh, does your spouse earn money? Emily, right, Emily, yeah, again, loves chickens. Clint is, is he non romanceable Clint? Well, that's fine then. Utah is working on a drawing of his original cat. She, he, uh, sorry, I don't want to presume your gender, Utah. Um, sorry. Um, you married Sebastian. Cool. Sebastian's a guy that lives in his parents' basement, isn't he? But he's pretty cool. You just say no to having kids because it asked before it happens. All right, well, consent's key. That's good. Definitely. Well, I'll not um not have kids then. I don't know. What about Harvey? He also seems like a bit of a wet blanket, but he is a doctor. Do you know? That might be quite good. That sounds terrible. <laughs> I'm only marrying you for your money. for your money, Harvey. I never really loved you. Poor Harvey. You can just call me mate. Excellent. Cool. Alright mate. <laughs> M exposes a gold digger. I know. Totally man. That's all I care about is making bank. I mean these bachelors and bachelorettes in Stardew Valley need to keep me in the lifestyle that I'm accustomed to, you know. a lot because I tanned a can of iron brew. Mm. I love iron brew so much, it's so good. Right. New 
clear. So if we go back to our colours and our colour picker, so base, dark one, dark two, dark three, so that's a start to get into the purples. And we make sure we go on to the correct layer. So if you zoom in, view, zoom in. Cool. And to make the brush a wee bit smaller again. After you marry them, they just stay in the farm, maybe occasionally do things for you and give you breakfast, which I dump in the money box. <laughs> Sebastian's a programmer, he's hard to get with because he's always in his room. He also has a motorcycle which he fixes up plans to move to the city, but then halts his plans in favour of marrying a farmer makes me gush. I love him. Oh, But that is the thing, like being a programmer these days, you can work. You can work anywhere, you're location independent, you don't have to be the city to working computers anymore you know I know this because my partner's a programmer so um, it's very location independent generally generally there are times when it's not So, new people who are hanging about, maybe lurking in chat, hi there. Um, you don't have to comment, that's totally cool. But I would love to know if any of you are art streamers too, because I'm always looking for arty people to follow on Twitch. So, if you have an art stream, please feel free to pop a link to it in the chat, and I'll check it out once my stream's finished. programs already in his room. I think he just wanted a new environment where he could get more computer parts. Born and raised in Stardew is pretty small pool of people to me. That is very true. That is very true. I mean, I, yeah, totally. I mean, I'm quite lucky because like where I stay is kind of smack between the countryside and the town, so I've got the best of both worlds, which is kind of sweet. I forgot to erase all those bits from the 
last. Hang on, I'll do that just now before I forget. I forgot to erase all these bits. That's better, okay, we can go back onto the dark colours now, that's fine, cool. So I'm trying to make sure the fur is going in the right direction. Sorry I'm really quiet folks, I'm absolutely exhausted and it's only 11am here in the UK, oh my goodness. Oh god, I'm going to have to go to sleep once I finish this stream, I'm so tired. My energy levels are absolutely atrocious. I haven't really gave my character colour since I draw on paper. Well, what kind of colours would you give your character then? Let's brainstorm. What colour would you give your characters?
messed that bit out earlier, dear me. Dark 3, are we on Dark 4? I can't remember. Dark 3, it's Dark 4 we're on. Silly me. Dark 4. choices. Right, so base one, two, three, four. is a nice colour. It's pretty chill. I could get behind that vibe. Yep, totally, that's cool. So I'm trying to think of my characters. Um, like my Dungeons and Dragons character, my main character is a tiefling. And like I know tieflings are supposed to be like human coloured through to bright red, but uh, like it's my teeth one's blue because um, you know what it's a fantasy game and if i want my teeth one to be blue it's going to be blue god damn it and she has dark blue hair and kind of gray colored horns is meant to be, pardon me, considerably darker than the rest. Mm. 
first of all and then pick one two right that's better right and then we go back and do brush tool and then make sure we're on the right layer one day one day I will be on the right layers at the right time and that day will be glorious. Yeah, that's better. Be bold, Emma, be bold. Much better. Got lots of colours to play with. I can go nuts here. Excuse me, friends. What days it was, like, there's a couple of days where I popped on and I was like, dude, I've not seen Erin for a while, but I didn't see you streaming, so I hope you're doing well. So, yeah, good to see you. So, we're working on a Highland cow today. Oh, excuse me, you ordered really badly today as well. I might need to go make a coffee or something to get me through the next few bits move time totally move time so yeah it's pretty quiet today on the chat there's a few people about but we're all kind of just chill right now at least I think there's a few of us about yeah there's 13 of us here which is quite good so but we're all just kind of I think we're all just doing our own thing so I am going to Raise some of this, that's what I'm going to do. So, just like that. Just 
Chesterism, some of it. I'm not even sure how noticeable it is what I'm erasing, but that's cool. Everyone chilling all good, yeah, totally. I'm a take a nap, it's almost 7am. Oh my god, have you been up all night, you tadgies? Oh man. I know, I think most of you sit up all night, don't you? You still be in bed, my god. <laughs> don't make me send you all to bed. <laughs> slept all day though. Uh, see I have this, I actually kind of sleep in two shifts, I sleep in the afternoon and I sleep at night, so my days kind of split up strangely. Um, not for good reasons, it's because I have uh, chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia which means I'm pretty much tired all the time. So. The best way for me to sleep is to split it in two, which isn't great when you're trying to hold down a job and stuff, but here we are. So, does anybody here have a normal sleeping pattern? Gesture drawing. What's gesture drawing? I have no idea what gesture. Do you know? I probably do know what gesture draw, gesture drawing is. I probably just don't know what the name for it is. What is gesture drawing? Tell me, friends. I 
now saying some of it. Oh, cheers, thank you. Oh, like movement and stuff. That's cool. Right, okay, I know what gesture drawing is now. I really should practice that a bit more because I'm terrible at drawing people. Dynamic people as fast as you can. See, I'm not very good at like doing movement and stuff. Um, which would probably mean more if I was good at life drawing, but I'm not very good at life drawing either, so here we are. <laughs> Movement is quite fun to get into. It's like how do you, how do you start that? Like how do you begin to understand the way the human body moves? Like how how oh my god! Like even the, the thought of that makes me feel crazy. Like with stress, it's kind of like how do you figure out how the human body moves? It probably makes me sound like a complete idiot. Again, here's your friendly reminder that I went to art school and I was not taught any of this stuff. How do you go about learning human anatomy? Is there like... Like, is there like a, a website for idiots where I could go learn it? Or am I better off just doing classes? Which reminds me, actually, I might not be streaming tomorrow because I'm doing an art class. Uh, it's an online art class, but they've sent out loads of materials. Um, oh, hold on, hold on, chat. I can give you a book free P a day off of it. Oh, that would be amazing. Oh, Coralia, that would be fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, do you need my email address or can you send it to me as a private message? Anyways, what I was saying is, so I'm actually doing two art classes coming up. One will be on Thursday afternoons and one will be on Friday afternoons but the Thursday one doesn't start for a few weeks. Anyways, so the one I'm starting tomorrow afternoon is um, it's lino printing. I used to do lino printing back when I was at school and I loved it. It was loads of fun but it was really messy. Um, so I'm doing an online class and they've sent me out the kit that has the lino in it and the cutting tools and all that kind of stuff. But the actual class is tomorrow afternoon, so that'll be fun. So I'll be, have some prints to show you on Monday, which would be kind of cool. Um, and it would be kind of nice, like I would love to do like more traditional art on stream. But I would really need a second camera for it so you could actually see what I was doing and I, like, I don't have the budget for for that at the moment you know um, but that's an eventual thing um, so anyways so that's the class I'm doing tomorrow and then in a week or two on Thursdays I'm going to be doing a botanical uh, drawing class because like I like drawing my animals and stuff and it'd be really nice to be able to draw plants especially because you can see the background there um, I'm getting quite into growing my house plants so I thought I'll sign up to a botanical drawing class. So we'll see how that goes as well. Um, yeah. Okay, let's, what do you have Discord? Whisper it to be. Yeah, actually, it's interesting stuff. Yeah, I sent you a whisper with links and stuff. Did you send that to my Discord? Hold on, that's oh god. No, I've not had a message to you, uh, from you. Nope, on Twitch. Oh my god, I need to on Twitch. Um, but I'll, I'll do that after the stream because I'm getting confused. <laughs> There's too many things, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, Coralia, thank you. 
so much. That is really sweet of you. I really appreciate that. Thank you. It's really cool. It's very cool. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just kind of like, it's nice that I spent so long hating art and not having fun doing art. And now it's, I feel really good about art again. It's so cool. And like all you guys on Twitch are so nice and you've been so helpful. Such a great community here. Like absolutely delighted to have got to know so many of you. It's really nice. supposed to like you for everyone who wants to learn more about it. I hope it gets out there. I'll put your book out there. That's not my drive, not sure you're it. The guy was talking about it. Oh, excellent. Thank you so much for sharing things in the chat. That is great. Right, I'm going to click on this YouTube link just now and subscribe. What this does. Cool. Right, so I've subscribed to that. I'm going to open this drive document just now. Downloading all of that just now as well, which makes for a very entertaining stream. But here we are. <laughs> that is amazing. Thank you so much, Erin and Coralia. That's great. Oh, yay! So many cool people. Oh, I'm delighted. So, what I might do then once I've finished this drawing is spend a bit of time on stream like practicing human figures and stuff you know actually learning stuff that can be fun actually will be fun it'll be cool Right, okay, so if you uh, ba -ba -ba, fit to screen, that's not fit to screen. There we go, right. Okay, we are getting somewhere, so next layer is dark five. So layer new, layer, layer three. Uh, dark five. Right, I'm feeling pretty warm, folks, so I'm going to put my fan on. Uh, let me know if it's too noisy, if it picks up on the mic too much. No, I'm really grateful for all the help. I mean, like, like I enjoy art and okay at it but I want to get better you know and I want to be able to draw more than just animals and more than just static animal portraits you know I want to do things that are a bit more expressive and a bit more fun so oh, I'm delighted thank you so much I'm really glad I streamed today part of me wasn't really feeling up to it um 
and um, because my stream was so bad on Tuesday, my stream wasn't bad on Tuesday, I was just feeling bad on Tuesday. There's a difference between a bad stream and feeling bad. Um, I've, not actually, I've never actually had a bad stream, if I'm honest, so base, one, two, three, four, five. Go here. Um, so yeah, that's that's been great. Thank you so much. Like honestly, on Tuesday I was so depressed. I don't know. I think maybe it's just lockdown getting to me. It's like this is us coming up for a year. I don't know how it is for the rest of you in the world, but this is in the UK, and um, we've been in lockdown pretty much on and off for a year. Um, and because I've got health issues, and because my partner's job, um, because of the work he does, we've pretty much been in lockdown for the full 12 months, um, not really going out if we can help it and all that kind of stuff. And I think it's starting to get to me a bit, I think I'm getting a bit kind of cuckoo, I think. So I hope things are better in the rest of the world the rest of these are. And here's the thing, right, I'm an introvert, like, I don't really care much about seeing other people, but even, even I'm cracking up, <laughs> I just, I just want, not that I would go outside, but I, I like having the choice, you know? There's a difference between I don't want to go outside because I don't feel like it and I don't want to go outside because I hate people. Yeah, and, and so it's the difference between I don't want to go outside because I hate people and I don't want to go outside and I can't go outside because people said I'm not allowed. Does that make sense? That means that's different, yeah. Back to this. Back to this. Oh, helps if I'm on the right layer. Yes, I know the layer is hidden because I forgot. There we go, that's better. animal portraits there's a hashtag life goal there we go awesome hashtag life goals moving animal portraits that would be cool actually i really want to to draw a picture of a squirrel but squirrels aren't static they're very much all about motion and stuff so being able to do like gestural animal drawing would actually be really cool like very very cool it has goals I don't think I've done this ear dark enough I might have to go back and re not redo the ear but kind of add more to the ear I think I was too light in the shade in there Ok, 
Okay, we are into the last half hour of my stream, folks. And I'm starting to get very tired. So that means I'm going to switch to my rock playlist. I'm going to start with this song because this is my favourite song on this play playlist. There we go, that's us, we'll get through the next half hour, no problem. Yeah, this playlist is pretty good. It's called Stream Beats. It's DC. What's the. What are the letters? Uh, copyright free music, basically. So you can play it on your stream and you can play it on YouTube and stuff, and like you won't get hounded for, for stealing music. Which is cool. So. And like usually I like the kind of lo-fi stuff, but like when I start feeling tired and it gets towards the end of my stream, I need something a wee bit more upbeat. So if I can get all the dark layers done today, that means that's me caught up to where I was earlier. Um, for those of you who missed the start of the stream, I'd actually done all these colours before, but I wasn't happy with the original sketch. So I kind of redid the sketch again, and I'm now redoing the colours. So, so that means I'm kind of back to where I was, which is good. So, which is nice. I'm not really sure what I'm going to actually do with this when it's finished. I mean, I'm going to make it into my April Bullet Journal cover page. But I don't know if I want to do anything else with it. Like, I don't know if it's going to be worth turning into a print or anything, or if it's just going to be just a bit of fun practice. Oh, this is a song that I always think could be amazing as an anime introduction. Which reminds me, I really need to catch up on my anime because on Netflix there's a new series of Tokyo Ghoul and there's a new series of Sword Art Online. And I know a lot of people shit on Sword Art Online, but you know what? I like it. I think it's fun. And when it comes to anime, I am a basic bitch, so. One of my Australian friends said there's a new series of Beastars out as well, but I've not seen that advertised on Netflix yet, so. Or maybe she was talking about, like, the manga or something. I don't read manga. Not for any bad reasons, I'm just lazy. Oh man, SEO sucks so it's Yeah, like I totally get that it sucks, but it's really easy to watch. It's like a soap opera. 
if you know what I mean. It's like you don't have to focus too much on it. I quite like it, it's like candy for the brain. Novels worth checking out for SEO. So probably good we did uh, yeah totally. I mean it's not great. I've watched so much better. So much better. But I still like it. You know? We all enjoy tra exactly trashy romance drama. That's I like that kind of stuff. I like trashy drama. You know? Yeah, just because I like Sword Art Online doesn't mean I think it's good. <laughs> I mean, I watch a lot of trash on the telly, but I wouldn't say most of the stuff I watch is good by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, I'm so sorry. I keep yawning. I apologise. It must be really loud with this microphone right up at my face. Right, so view fit on screen. But yeah, I'm sure I'm sure there's a new series of Tokyo Girl out. Like I was really unhappy with how Tokyo Girl ended. I thought it was like a really crap ending and I get really annoyed about it, so I'm glad there's a new season. I mean, I'm not as angry about it as I was when Game of Thrones ended. I'm gonna die mad about that. Um but I just wasn't that happy with how it ended. Uh, new layer. Layer again. Layer. I'm so sorry, I just burped as well. It must be so unpleasant with this microphone right up at my face, but here we are. I'm just clicking on your link here and hold on a second. It's asking for a username and password for the SEO archive. and the password is all right okay cheers thank you if I can spell SEO.
I O N. I'm not spelling it correct. I'll come back and do that in a second. Right, okay. Cool. Oh. The song is Bop. This is a great song too. Yeah, I have to resort to saying this song is Jam instead of Bop now. Oh, see, everything's a jam. Like, this is like, totally my jam. This song's really good. I think this is Machine. Which is the one I like, but I think it's the instrumental version of it. No, it's not, it's Wreck, it's the instrumental version of that. It's very cool. Anyways. It's just good. It's also good being able to listen to music and not have to worry about someone bringing out the band hammer on you for listening to copyrighted music. Which, you know, it's totally fair. Artists should be paid for their music and, you know, that kind of stuff. But I just wish it was an easier way to do it. for a certain number of times during the day and then it suddenly stops. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. happening. Adobe Live. Oh, no. Sorry, it was just a notification from Adobe saying they've got a live thing going on today. Gamers were new in here. I am so sorry for being this tired. I would love to say it's because I was up all night doing something rock and roll, but it's not. It's because I've got chronic fatigue. Ok, 
okay, this is not what colour the eye is going to be, I think. But I'm just colouring it in because I find it weird when the eyes aren't dark. Right, okay, so we need our eraser friend. Where are you? There we are. Cool, right. Okay. Like that memo too. I'm trying to say jam and then it's like this song is a hammer. Oh, the thing I appreciate about being Chinese is sheer amount of ways I can still be here for stick. <laughs> yeah, do you know, I never get the hang of doing my hair. Like, I can barely scrape it up in a ponytail. Um, and of course, again, what with the virus that should not be named, it's been so long since I've been to the hairdresser. So I don't have my bangs anymore, and my hair's like this much too long. And oh my god, see, just before the last lockdown, so like a year ago, right, just before we went into lockdown, I got my hair bleached. So I've now got really bad, like ridiculous roots now because I've not been able to get my hair done properly and it's just crazy. Yeah, so I'm desperate to go get my hair done because my hair's usually purple. Like see under normal circumstances I have purple hair. Uh, occasionally blonde, occasionally red, but generally purple. And I have not been able to do anything with it. Um, I have thought about dyeing my hair at home, but my hairdresser would be so mad at me if I used the whole colour. And like, I have thought about cutting my own hair, but I'm just not feeling brave enough. I have an undercut on my left and right side, um, so at the start of lockdown I shaved it, or at least on the sides. But I actually want to grow my undercut out, but I think this is the not a good time to actually do that because it just looks like a complete mess so I might actually start shaving it in again. I can't wait to go to the hairdressers and get my hair done. It's going to be so good. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to redo the ear. Like, I'm going to have to start making it darker higher up, I think. But I can do that I'll maybe do that thingy. I've got 10 minutes left on this stream, so what I'll do is I'll I'll just finish doing this um, eraser thing and then I think I'll call it quits and then when I come back I might pop on for like an hour tomorrow to do the ear rather than do the full two hours because I need to get set up for this printing thing because I need to make space in my office to do printing because I don't have a lot of space. I need to hang up a washing line so I can actually uh, dry my prints without my cats sitting on them. Because cats have a habit of doing that. I think I might have to make this cheek a bit darker as well. I think. I need to think about it though. These things take a lot of pondering and consideration, you can't just jump into things like this willy-nilly. My hair is traditional Chinese, lower back length, long thick and straight, which is best my genre. do a lot of uh, pastel drawings and my cats would like roll on top of them so then they'd be covered in pastel and rub up against the furniture so I'd have to clean the furniture and they'd ruin my drawings you know I love my cats but geez louise they're a pain in the arse Like, yeah, let's have a look. View, zoom out. Oh, no, 
fit to screen, um, I use Sally Goose fit to screen. I don't know, maybe the cheek is okay. Maybe I might leave it as it is and then come back to it once I've done the highlights. But I'll definitely need to do the ear. The ear needs to be darkened up quite considerably. But I'm really happy with how much I've managed to get done today. That's great. Right, let's put all the dark colours in a group so I don't lose them. So that's where we started, plus the sketch that I had to redo, which I've deleted the old one. But so yeah, we redid the sketch and then we built up the shades. So, right, okay, so next time, next time I'm on, I will darken up the ear, then I'll do the highlights. Cool, we've got a plan. So I'm going to finish up just now rather than start something new. So I'd like to thank you for keeping me company today. I really appreciate it. It's really nice to blather with people while I'm drawing. It's really cool. So thank you very much. Um, yeah, so it's been really nice. I'm not sure if I'm going to stream tomorrow. I probably won't because I need to make space, I need to set up another desk in here and all sorts of other things before I can get my prints done. Um, one day my prints will come. Um, yeah, so I probably won't be back on again till Monday. So Erin and Coralia, thank you very much for the links to the YouTube channels and the books to help with my improving my art. I really appreciate that. It's really kind to both of you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, thank you. And I hope you both have a lovely day. If it's past your bedtime, go to bed, get some sleep. <laughs> and if it's still daytime, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> So you guys look after yourselves. <laughs> it's great to have you company and to my lurkers as well. Thank you very much for lurking. It's totally cool and I'd love to see you back here again. Uh, I will definitely be streaming again on Monday morning, 10am UK time. So have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.